That's incredible. I mean, it was fired, got fired, got fired up. You know, that's right. uh, that's, that's all you can do. I've got a tripod for it too, but otherwise I manhandle it when you see the videos and they're looking like that's why. <laughs> Sounds good. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and uh, this is a friend of mine and my family's. This is Gordon's. You're not going to be able to pronounce his name when you see me spell it out. It's actually sure. Sure. Seth. Sure Seth. Sure you'll remember that. Sure you'll remember. It's goatee day. Yes, it is it's goatee, goatee day. day. And it's looked like Sager day. <laughs> and we've, we've had a few years under our belt and a few things over the belt maybe. <laughs> but, uh, I'm in Bismarck uh, and Mandan, North Dakota, and it's great to be here back in the home state of North Dakota where I was born and raised. Farm country, Midwest, I love it. But we're gonna clean a church today. And uh, he's got also some stories of how my family and he was involved, how we got into carpet cleaning. And we're gonna be sharing along the way in this video too. So, but today we're gonna take on some good eating and some carpet with some challenges. In the church, we have coffee spills. Lots of them. They're beautiful. Here's some of the good stuff we're gonna work on. And I love the coffee spills. We are gonna use the uh, new 2X Oxy end cap, the Sagers, the code red of end caps. We call it that because of the Oxy. If these don't disappear immediately, they will usually come out pretty quick while we're still here, even with the Oxy in it. But lots of good fun stuff. Goes all the way down. Oh, here's a good one. We gotta make sure we get that on the camera when we hit it. He set this up and we're volunteering. He's volunteering, we're volunteering to do it. And this church is a very giving church. This yeah. particular spot that we're cleaning right now, during the school year, it serves as a place for young people to come to just have a meal. They serve between 250 and 400 people, young kids, from the school. The high school is only two blocks or three blocks away. The kids run over here on Thursday. Yeah. The school cuts back on its food supply on Thursday because they know a lot of the kids are going to be over at First Luther. So it's a free meal? It's a free meal. Home and, cooked. Uh, it might be barbecues one day, it might be hot dogs the next day. I'm it, coming this back. Is where they, this is where they eat, this wow. is where they spill. Let's give it a try. Awesome. This is only the second time running the Trinity, so I'll give you an idea how much experience or how much you need to pay attention but so we lubed up the pad that's why I see a little damp there we just lubed it a little bit and go ahead and stay on the juice i think you're going to need it in some places and then the, when it gets to the lighter you can feather back to a little bit gordy and some of you might do it differently of just what i'm seeing today or how, how i've experienced it i know there's more than one way to do this i always like to get it on the spots you know the good portion of end cap but So it's not fair to put him on the spot, but I'm just going to ask him some questions and thoughts. I can't walk and talk at the same <laughs> <Okay>. time. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm fine. So you're just experiencing it. Is it smooth for you? Feeling okay? It is. It's not enough vibration to like <laughs> yeah. one of those machines, you know. That Mikey that P and I were talking about mounting a belt on it just last week. That is no lie. <laughs> <laughs> just to take advantage of it, so us yeah. guys with the we were talking that a little bit of a belly can. <laughs> taking advantage of this. That's just called good eating around here in the Midwest. Yeah. <laughs> now there's a spot, let's just see. That's not bad. I think it's pretty much gone already. I showed him yesterday a little bit of how you can do wheels up on some really stubborn stains, I guess we'll call it. So it shouldn't be stains, it's spots. Stains don't come out, spots do. What are we gonna do after we're done here in 15 minutes, Gordy? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna clean more. We'll see what happens. I think it's looking really good. So we're gonna take a segment at a time. Then I also, we talked about using the cotton poly pad on it to help get out some more soils. This year we're taking out the good abundance of it, but that cotton poly is like a dry passes like even in our hot water extraction as I come from hot water extraction that's how I kind of communicate but it does help absorb some more in heavily soiled areas and really put a nice shine on it. So I have some leftover uh, habits from my other machine but uh, yeah we'll take the corners and he, keep going. Uh, on the other machine he, he just did it. <laughs> 
See, I said just the other and machine. And we could say the other machine because we're talking in general. He uses also a Cymex. He has, which we'll see in this video, uh, incredible setup where he's uh, a lift access, handicap lift access he purchased in a minivan. That is just wonderful setup. He had some shelves made. We'll be showing that. This is the most awesome thing. It just pops on out of there. That's a wheelchair ramp, is that what that is? It's a wheelchair ramp, yes. Very nicely done. Strap down, there it is sitting take, in there. Look at that. Take your door out of the way. That's nice. Unstrap it, take one off, bring it back up or wherever you want. Nice. Boy, we're sure featuring a lot of low moisture on my channel lately. <laughs> Look at there, there you go. Yeah, but he does a lot of low moisture cleaning, Cymaxing. And that's a great machine too. I like a padding system a lot for the absorbency of uh, soils. So I have chose to go that way. No, you just couldn't resist, could you? No, I can't. I, <laughs> yeah, I know. I have to go over and get that spot. And it might need two passes. So then next time I come through, it'll uh, have So you remember what third, I showed so. you on the wheels up? Oh, it's, yes. Go yes. over to the spot again. Okay. And then just uh, position, just lightly lift up on it. While it's going? Yep, while it's going. That's all you do is just to be comfortable. And it side heels and it grabs a little more and see it's throwing a little more surfactant probably at it too. And now you can set it back down and take a look if you feel. We can't. We're too close to another spot. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll go back to it. We'll, we'll go back. We'll uh, go everybody back who's, you know, so symmetric in lines are probably going nuts right now, you know, looking at us going, you can't do that. You're coloring ah! outside the lines. <laughs> So this will be the fourth pass we've done here. Do you know how many square feet this is, Gordy? Something around three or 4,000, I believe. Cool. Well, that's just a walk in the park for you, what I've seen you do. <laughs> well, we have some, some larger areas that we clean and, yeah. and uh, we enjoy the production, you know, yes. that these pieces of equipment offer. Mr. Gordon Skurseth, first time running a Trinity. Are you in a wide angle now or what? <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> there, we're both skinnied up now. He also runs a butler and a zipper wand too. Yesterday I got a phone call that uh, Mark Sager's getting rid of all his butlers and zippers and just doing low moisture from here on out. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just becoming much more rounded in my cleaning method, I should say. It, is, uh, it is nice to have an arsenal and uh, I didn't have any uh, low moisture options 10 years ago and uh, I was forced to buy one a wicking situation on a job to uh, really get serious about what I could do about wicking. Going to some of the conventions and learning more, I realized I had to get into it because I was going to lose a customer yeah. that was a very large customer because of wicking. So it, we ended up uh, getting into uh, checking out the low moisture methods. So. Never a Mark Sager video without a phone call. <laughs> As he described though, that what he did, it basically did save an account. Again, multifaceted cleaning, not just one. I know it says steam clean on the side of my van. Did yours ever say steam clean on the side of any of your vehicles? Carpet care is what Carpet it said. Care. And See, then I went, to, uh, I went to the branding of, of doing it as property services. But that isn't necessarily uh, specific enough okay. you know, to to have people know what you do. I have a DBA or a doing business as both names, but Got it. carpet care was the choice most of my career. It's looking pretty good from this angle here. We get the aerial view with Mark and his armpit sticking in the air. Sorry, Gordy. <laughs> I think we'll do with, uh, since we've done all this, we'll just put a white pad on it just to see how it looks at this point. Okay. She's definitely got a soil level in it, doesn't it? Toward the doors here where yeah. you have couple hundred kids coming every week. Yeah, that's does, cool. Uh, does build up. So, Gordy's been cleaning all of this, and then we just threw on the poly cotton gladiator pad, just to do some more absorption, kind of like, as we described, the dry passes, removing more suspended soils. Now you're supposed to be doing the front shot, not the side yeah. shot there, Mark. Let me work on that. He <laughs> <laughs> did bring me a heck of a cinnamon caramel roll. The thing weighs three pounds. It means it'll put on 10. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a 
hump in the concrete right there as I was backing up. I almost went over. My only experience so far with these machines has been maybe three minutes of cleaning at a convention, and I was concerned about the the vibration. Okay. I guess at this point I would have to say that it isn't an issue. It's not going to feel uncomfortable. Okay. And they can put on different pads or, you know, uh, grips. Some people have put on different ones. I was just with a gentleman who put on a really nice foam cushy pad. Okay. But I didn't have a problem with these either. Thought he was holding out on me. Some good eating there. <laughs> Actually, that's working pretty cool now because, uh, Gordy, if you get it when you get a chance to look back here, now you see your footprints too in the carpet. Where before, in the first it. time, we weren't seeing that with the microfiber. You know, we were doing more absorbency and hit it hard. You want to go back to the microfiber on this for the next? Yeah, we'll go microfiber section. on this. Yeah, let's just we'll stop it a second. I'll flip that up for him. Do a little reveal, and it's it's soiled. But it's not really super bad. So. And these are used pads. So yes. I mean, yeah, there's some staining uh, on them too. It's not like, brand new white. No. So yeah. there's like, even after the wash, how they look, they've got a little staining to them. Look at here from behind. Do you see that spot up ahead in, by the naked eye? That's straight ahead of us in the, in the picture. You'd think you got it sometimes, but in person, you go and you look. And now if I'm looking in the camera, I think we did get it. But you never know. The camera will spot some stuff that the naked eye can't pick up. So. You're used to the moisture staying so much in the pad on a Cymex. Along here, I just sprayed along there too so I could square up. And I think the Cymex can't get up as close to the wall. I can't remember, it's been so long. The Cymex does have, I think, a... You've got an overlap here with the pad. Yes. That the Cymex does not have. You're looking at uh, probably three quarters of an inch. Okay. Along the wall. Sure. That a Cymex does not get. Well, I'm gonna pass the torch to you, buddy. <laughs> He took on this job just for me, essentially, just to be here, do this, and I'm making him work today. He could have had a day <laughs> off. He's going to tell me, go home, Mark. <laughs> he gets to go home later on today or tomorrow, and yeah, my tomorrow. wife and I are yeah. going to celebrate our 40th anniversary. And th that's wonderful. Wow. Last weekend, my wife's parents came down, and we went out to lunch because they, uh, they've been married for 65 years, and we're celebrating that, and we were celebrating that's our cool. 40th. So. She should get an award for staying that long. That's all I know. <laughs> I'm at uh, 21 years and she definitely, yeah. I just tell her, she won the award, she got me. Okay, video <laughs> over. I gotta run. <laughs> She'll be here in no time. A couple spots there, we bring her back and we might do a little wheels up on it. Oh, I see them. Yep. Don't even have to go that high, just whatever's comfortable. All right, let's take a look. It's gonna take a little more, so let's lube them up a little bit. Okay, now let's try that. And of course, there is a more aggressive pad that I have out there if you had to, but uh, this will come out. We can just spend a little time on it and just beep, she'll come out. There, they're starting to go. <laughs> the old Was that on camera or off oh, camera oh, there, it's Mark? it's a little off the side, but it'll get a squeaky clean. And <laughs> I just did a little of this Nike shuffle thing. Kind of one of the jokes in our industry. Breaking news, I got nothing. <laughs> so we've been doing a ton of experimenting here. We're already drying here. It's drying pretty quick. We're double checking on how much moisture or how much spray we should be putting down. So we're in the center. We're giving a little more juice. Like that big manufacturing one I was telling you about, Gordy. Yep. I stayed on the trigger the whole time. <laughs> I was well, just- got him on a grease, you almost Yeah, I was just letting it, it fly. Had to just get it lubed up enough so I can then start sopping it up with the pads. Notice where it's a little smoother now with that pad underneath it? That's because that pad's in a little better shape. <laughs> okay. I threw on the most ugly old pad probably I could for him to give him the worst experience right off the bat. That cord and you sure like each other. <laughs> I shouldn't be backing up as much as I do here. You got to remember you're in Norwegian territory. That's right. And you're training a Norwegian. So. <laughs> he trained me yesterday and he had to start all over this morning. So. <laughs> well, I'm German and I'm forgetful then because I don't remember all that. <laughs> I'm half and a half. So maybe oh, there we'll, we are. We'll be all right. <laughs> 
oh, oh, stubborn and Norwegian, huh? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Why do I say stubborn? Because that's what my wife tells me all the time. So, yeah. Just using her words, well, lightly. Paraphrasing. I'm going to be grounded as soon as she sees this. <laughs> Probably the worst one in the whole place. I've been waiting for it. He's going to just pass right on by. He's just going to glance it. There, that'll learn all of you. Think he was going to get it right away. <laughs> we'll have to come back. Oh, you're just toying with him. I like that. <laughs> We're back in action. He's now getting the pump primed up. The one they've all been waiting for, as the pump is still trying to prime. <laughs> That's not bad. No, it seems to be. We'll give her a little time here. Yep. It'll go away. Anything that's remaining, that oxy will just do its job as an oxidizer. So we've got some good stains in here, some fun stuff. That one's just got another one coming up. Oh, yeah. Yep. A couple of them. Obviously, with it wet, you can definitely see night and day here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, the wheel's up trick. Yeah? Not bad. You got it on the first shot. Got it through. I see difference in color, difference in color. That's actually because of the concrete here. Yeah, there's some concrete stuff going yeah. on. So the concrete just causing fibers to be risen up or down and it just, you know, gives directional look. I've always wanted to come out and do some type of cleaning with you. So you started with my family, so. Yep, that's a good thing to, good thing to go full circle. Yeah, no, it's very kind of you to allow me to come out and I'd like, I was just telling him I feel like Tom Sawyer right now where I'm making him work. <laughs> when his dad and his uncle came out here to install the first truck mount I had, it was a used slide in and it was a change. It was a it was an upgrade for my business sure. at that time, which I had in a portable situation at that time and it yep. was part time. You were using our portables too, weren't you? I was using uh, Sager's portables. When I went from portable to doing the truck mount because the Sagers came and helped me install the one that we bought together. Let's say it, we had it shipped. <laughs> we had it shipped from wherever it was and it was supposed to be shipped on a Friday morning. That Friday at work I got noticed that it had shipped. Truck mounts on its way. It's still doing it part-time. Truck mounts on its way. That Friday afternoon at five minutes to five the manager called me up and he wanted me in his office and that's never good. At five o'clock, five minutes later, I was in his office and 60 of us during that day had gotten fired. Oh my gosh. Uh, it was a downturn in 1985 yeah. in the economy and they let us go. Wow. I had a truck mount coming Oh. with the Sager boys <laughs> having their truck mounts already mounted. They were going to come out the following Monday or Tuesday and when the Thing arrived yeah. and install it. I got fired on Friday, went truck mount <laughs> yeah. the following week. You were full time as of Monday. I had, I had no choice at that point. Wow. I had a choice of drawing unemployment. Yeah. Which I really didn't feel like doing. Yeah. There was a waiting period a little bit. Sure. And I just started cleaning. So you went the truck full time mount. then? I never heard that story. <laughs> I wow, thank you. So People wonder what, what motivated you to go from portable yep. to truck mount. Well, we were already motivated to go truck mount because the Sagers had already done it already in Grand Forks and they said, you got to go with this truck mount stuff. You want to buy some used stuff with us? So they bought three at once, Yeah. one for each of them and one for me and kind of not That's forced into it, but we were, I decided that that was the route to go. But that Friday, I was forced into it. That's incredible. I mean, it was fired, got fired, got fired up. You know, that's right. That's, that's all you can do. And uh, 
like I was telling Mark earlier, I have a degree in international business. But I once I got the carpet cleaning bug, yep, and realized I could actually take Friday off if I wanted to, <laughs> or take Friday afternoon off, yeah. or decide that I need to have some bills and I need to spend that going out and mm -hmm. giving my business card out yeah. instead of going to the lake. But eventually, you know, 42 years later, I get to go to the lake. Yeah, you're going to the lake. That's cool. So we were grinding away on this until I finally got smart. Maybe I should go down and feel it. And it's a burn. Yeah, they ain't coming out today. Interesting, again, to the naked eye, I can hardly see that spill, but yet it's in the camera. I ran out of cord. You know, what can you, it's always the last few feet. So I just ran that little strip from three, four poles back down to here. Fresh, brand new Zorb pad, white pad. And there. It's drying. It's drying, yes. It's, it's, that's what I like about it's padding. It's, it does draw. That's pretty cool. Look how it wings out to the edges here, too. We were just talking about that and how it gets in on it and pulls it out. You want to try that one? We'll do it. Okay. So we done like about half of this with this pad. This was fresh, brand new, really crystal white bright. And there's the soils we're getting at. That's what I like about it. It'll absorb those. It's that final finish that really does well on it. And then you can see how it's absorbing even further. Let's pull it up. Work. Well, Gordy, we haven't done video in a while. <laughs> no, we're almost done with I know. the project. It's going pretty good. Still surviving. So we got a super Zorb pad on there right now, which is a little more grippy on this carpet. You don't want to put lift the handle up, right? No. Nope. <laughs> so far, he has the record for the I first the contest. I threw a pad all the way across the floor, about 40 feet. Winner. Winner, right there. It's a Guinness Book of World Records, I bet. I don't know. Landed somewhere over there. <laughs> like, a fr like a Frisbee. You know? Oh my gosh. You get used to running equipment and it's hard to break those habits that are Old just habits. so ingrained. Yeah, that looks really good though. Putting some finishing touches on the, on the last, on the yeah. toughest traffic areas, pivot areas. All right, well, let's do the reveal and see what we got. It's the bigger one, little one. Not bad. That was fresh in here. I, well, I used the microfiber then that. And this here is just the final passes after all microfiber and a little bit of other white pad. So we took what was the heavy spill area and ran it one more time just to make sure. It's looking good. Now, if those spots and stains just stay away. Yep. That's why I call it taillight warranty. I'll see ya. Bye. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a little tired. He asked me, <laughs> is your knee sore? We made him work your hard today. <laughs> I walked a few paces here and there. He did. Yes, but great having uh, being back here with Gordon because he's you know been with the family so to speak for so long and just to hear all the great stories and things that are happening and being just able to clean with him. This is the first time I've been able to clean with you except Ronald McDonald houses, which we Ronald McDonald all volunteer. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, thanks for checking out the channel. Give us a thumbs up, a like, and a comment. We really appreciate it. And thanks for being here. Hope to see you in the next one. And hope to be back to Bismarck Mandan again in North Dakota. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Ha, ha, ha.